Good morning, guys. Uh, just thought I would make a video showing how I build my watch list for a real day. This is live. Um, it's about an hour before the market opens on September 16th, 2020. And, um, you know, I, I've just opened up my Weeble desktop platform and you see my watch list is empty. I have today is Wednesday. I have that day selected. So this is what I would do on like a typical trading day in the pre-market. Go over to markets. I have my own screeners that I make, but I use those during the trade day. Uh, and I really like to use Weeble's kind of built-in uh, screener for the pre-market and after-market hours. So I'm looking here at trends and it's normally on extended hours ranking, but uh, if it wasn't, you would just click on that. And like I said in other videos, it puts all the stocks in the order of the highest price increase in the pre-market. So, and it, and it it shows that by the percent change. So this is the, is the amount of change in price by percentage. So um, here you see ACET has gone up 616%. That's a little bit weird, but uh, you know, I just kind of go off basically these top five. Uh, you see this little slide bar, you can go all the way through the list, but uh, generally, I mean, not even the top five are, are uh, really worth trading, but it's, it's more likely that the top five are gonna have uh, good stocks to trade than the uh, ones below it. So we start there and I went over to um, the little search bar here and I just start typing in the ticker symbol and there it is and then click on the star and today and it's going to be on my watch list now and I could just put all uh, top five here if I want to. That, that star was already blue because it was already on a, another watch list. So you can ha add these to multiple watch lists at the same time if you'd like. And this last one, P-L-I-N, I'm not really interested in because it's uh, well below a dollar. So I like to be closer, you know, at least a little bit above a dollar to consider. I might look at it again later, but we'll just leave that one off for now. Go back to trade. <laughs> Excuse me. And now you see my watch list is populated. I've got all four stocks that uh, were on that extended hours ranking. So I still have like Tesla up here, but if I click on any of these, it'll change. So this one, even though it had that, uh, what was it like 600%? I mean, that's already kind of a, a weird amount to be up in the pre-market, uh, like a suspect. If you see something that's like say, 20% to maybe as high as like 100, 150%. Those those could be genuine, uh, not necessarily, but you wanna look and you wanna see a pattern forming. This is just kind of like this huge leap from $2 to 16, $17. And if we look at the orders, you could see uh, in the aftermarket yesterday, it closed at $2.34 and then at 8.18, Somehow the the price went up to fifteen forty. I'm not even sure how that happens. If that's like a market maker thing or or what. But anyway, that's something you stay away from. You don't want to trade that. If if people start buying at this range, I guarantee there's going to be a huge sell off. It's not not likely to just keep going up higher. So something like this, I see this and this just looks ridiculous. I take it right off my watch list. It's not even worth looking at. And then the next one is Kodak. And that one, uh, that's a weird stock too. You see here, uh, what was that on the 29th that went up to $60. It was kind of a famous day. <laughs> and uh, so, th you know, this one I w it would be a stock I'd be careful with, but it's, w it's worth having on the list. You see how different it looks than the previous one. You've got these nice candlestick patterns forming. Uh, there's volume trading the stock. Look, there's like almost 600,000 thousand shares just on that one candle. This is the five minute chart, so that's within five minutes. 
Um, so this is one I would keep on the list. And I, you know, to be honest with you, I, I, I was open up before I made this video. I just decided to make it afterwards so you can see I already marked out the high of day here and a little uh, support line based on these two bottoming tails. So if the if the price came back down near here, I would I would look at it again to go long. Not not necessarily saying I would, but I wouldn't buy it up here. It's already way up uh, into a move. So. And the next one is MYO and yeah so this one had a huge run up in the aftermarket yesterday uh, so sometimes sometimes that translates into a continued move up in the pre-market but not necessarily and you can see you know what it's doing here selling off so this one it's on the list but it's not uh, not something I'm expecting much you know it, it has to prove to me that it's worth trading so I need to see some type of, of major reversal um, here it's kind of inching its way back up, but there's going to be a lot of sellers all in this price range here. So as it as it keeps bouncing up, the sellers that want to get out are going to start pushing the price back down. You can kind of see that happen here. I, I mean, this is a really bad um, price action anyway. Uh, these really long wicks uh, just show that this thing is really unstable and the price goes up and then back down and you know it's that's something you don't want to be in if you're scalping and if you kind of identify an upward trend here even with all this whippiness look what happened it sold off you know right away so uh, it's definitely volatile and then OSN this is another weird one um, it wasn't on the extended hours list and all, all of a sudden it popped up. The price was around $4 and then shot up to f over $5 in one candlestick. So it's another kind of a, a weird one like that 600% mover that is probably not even worth paying attention to. I don't even know what this is. Is that some institutional traders coming in you know, and just buying up a bunch of shares all at once? Um, and it looks like maybe some other people got kind of tricked into trading it or or these are you know what it, more likely at this point once they uh, people that have been holding this stock once they see this huge increase they when they realize it they just come in and sell their shares so so that's it I mean today it doesn't look like there's a lot of good um, st or, sorry a lot of good uh, stocks to trade so far but um, but that's generally what I do in the pre-market. I set up my watch list. I showed you this all on one screen, but um, what I re the way I really have it set up is I have uh, Weeble open on my laptop as well. You're looking at my desktop, and on my laptop is where I open up the markets tab and and my screener and all that. And I just keep this trade page open, so I would just type in the uh, ticker symbol up here that I want to add to my watch list and. Uh, and do it that way. That way I never have to leave the trade screen and the load times are always quick to go from stock to stock. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. Any questions, let me know. Thanks.